right, and we are back in this episode. Thanks for joining me last time. Last time I did a little bit of level design, tried to finish off this game, um, because I wanted to show you guys in this episode how to start getting it ready for packaging and how to put it out, actually. So if you've been following along, you probably have a good game by now. You know, I got mine we're up in this mountain, and, you know, you got to get to the heliport. Uh, but if you want to put your game out so other people can play it, then we got to package it is what it's called. And before you do that, very, very important. You should go through each and every single room and each and every single object and actor and make sure it is exactly what you want. It looks exactly how you want it. All the dents and the creases are in the exact places that you want them. This is called polishing. So once you go through and you polish each part of your game, then you're ready to package it. So the first thing that we need to do once we're ready to package it, and this step will take you a long time if you have not done this. First thing you need to do is come up here. Um, you know, I, I don't think you know this is necessarily a good, uh, a bad order of things, but just to get this out the way, where it says platforms, click on platforms, find the platform you're trying to mix it down to. Um, for me, I'm making it on a Windows computer, so I have to mix it down for Windows or package it for Windows. Now, when you package a project, what's going to happen is all of the textures and everything has to cook or bake it or they like they cook into the package. Um, ask me to define cook. I probably couldn't define it, but it pretty much means make everything solid. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get that out the way. So first things first, cook your package. And right here in the output log, you'll see, you'll see it start cooking. And it's going to take you a minute. So we'll pause and come back to this when it's finished. Once your package is fully cooked, you'll see this cook command completed. You'll hear a little, nice little charm sound, and you're done with that part. Now what we need to do, since that part's done, we can go into our, um, here in the edit project settings. Now on the first page of your project settings, your description page, you gotta set this up correctly. You might wanna add a description of the game. Um, project ID, don't touch the project ID. Project name, this is gonna be the name of the game. So, uh, I'm gonna call mine horror too. The project version, this is when you start letting out updates. Because this is the first version, we're going to put it out as 1. If you let out another version, like an update, then you put it as 1.01 .01 or 1.05 or whatever whatever method you got, 1.03. Um, down here, company name, you can fill all of this stuff out. This is really good to have all of this stuff filled out. But if you don't if you don't have it all filled out, it's all good. For me, I'm going to put the company name. It's Quinful. Quinful Games. Um, and coinanthony.com perfect we got my website in there uh, private policy a privacy policy you should always have one of those um, and you can kind of get the templates offline for those find a game that you like and then get the template and then use that and you can also connect it to your website that's where I have my privacy policy usually connected up to my website all right, and, and, and literally privacy policy is a sentence or a paragraph. It's not too much. Okay, everything was good on the description page. Now what we need to do is come down here, and we need to come through a couple of these. So maps and modes. Make sure that your editor startup map, uh, editor startup map doesn't matter. That's what's going to happen every time you open the editor. But every time you open the game, you want it to go to the first level. Our first level is the title level. So that's where we want it to go. Um, the rest of this, we don't need any of this right now. Okay, next is, uh, let's say packaging, right here. Here's in the packaging. Okay, so there's a couple things that we need to hit up in here. Uh, for example, the build configuration. So, we want to do this for shipping. Shipping means like you're shipping it out to the world. So we want to get it ready to go out to the world. So change that to shipping. 
Um, what else do we have down here? You could do a full rebuild if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that one right now. Cool. And now let's go to supported platforms. This is going to show you all the platforms that are supported. Um, and then target hardware. We're doing this for a desktop. Perfect. We're, we're almost finished here. Let's go down, down, down to platforms where it says Windows. Because I'm making this for Windows. And if you're making it for Windows, just follow along. But whatever platform you are making it for, click on that platform. And we need to set some of the settings here. So here is where you add your splash, uh, your game splash picture, or your splash screen, and your game icon. Now, it has specific specifications for the icon. As you see, it has to be 256 by 256 to add a game icon. So in Photoshop or wherever, go and make a game icon and just make sure it's 256 by 256 pixels. Um, going down further, that's it. I just wanted to show you where you set the pictures up for your game. Um, and after that, I think we're good. We can go ahead and click X. <clears throat> um, one more thing before we get started, there's a button called Build. And you want to build all levels. Build H logs save selected and give it a second to build and then after this we're going to package the game so I will unpause it when mine finishes building alright so I got a little message and that means it's finished building everything was good so now we're ready to package the game so come up to here to platforms and go down to your windows and just click on package project now it's going to ask you where do you want to save this at and I'm fine saving this here um, but if you want to access it quickly you can just save it on your desktop that's fine once you start packaging your project you're going to see the output log come up now this is like reading matrix code but it's all good you're going to see everything that's happening here and you'll be updated on literally everything that's going on so just keep an eye on your output log um, so you can see what's going on and then you gotta wait because this pro this process also takes a minute so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll unpause it uh, once the package project uh, once the project packages and then I'll show you where to put it okay once your package is completed uh, once you're finished packaging your project you're gonna get you know all this little matrix code but the most important is one most important parts of this code that you want to see is stage command completed package command started package command completed everything this has completed and you want to see this right here the exit code is equals zero success as long as you see that and you hear the little charm that goes then you did right and your game is packaged so what we can do from here is we can actually close down unreal i know it's kind of scary I'm save it all close it down and now let's go to my desktop here Alright, so the game right here is on my desktop. It's in this folder called Windows. If I open up this folder, I see all of the game stuff that I need. Now, uh, let's actually right click on the folder and see how big it is. That's very important. This folder is only 482 megabytes. Very small. So, in order to get this ready to go, we're going to put this on itch.io and I'll show you how to do such. Um, first thing you want to do is open up itch.io and make sure you have an account there. I believe it's free to get an account on itch. Um, but once you're on itch and you got your account, go over here to your name. And then you can, you can see all the games that you've put out right here. Now in order to add a new game, what you want to do is create um, a new project. So click on your name or the drop down sorry and then upload new project now from this screen you're gonna fill out the title of your game you're gonna fill out the cover uh, and the cover you know you pick a picture that you find it could be anything it, there are specifications for the cover uh, it has to be minimum 315 by 250 um, or 630 by 500 so that's as small as it can be. 
Uh, but you just pick a picture here. I'm just gonna pick a random picture here. Okay. And then you fill out the rest of the details. So here's the link that people will get. You can actually customize that. You can put a description or tagline. This is very important because, you know, when you're looking through games, the tagline is something that actually hooks you. So put something very creative and catchy here, like, ooh, chaos, cool game. You know, just put some something that's gonna catch somebody's attention. Classification, um, you could see what project you're putting out. Obviously, we're putting out a game. Is it downloadable? Is it a, you know, yes, it's downloadable. Um, release status, you can say if it's in development still, on hold, prototype, whatever. Here's where you can see how much people will pay for your game. Now, if your game is, I can't tell you what to put. Put whatever you think your game is worth, right? If you think your game is worth $500, then you click paid and you type in $500 as the minimum price. Um, usually for games that I make where it's not that serious, I usually say zero or donate. And if anybody wants to donate, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? I love donations. <clears throat> Going down further, this is where you actually upload your file. So, it says the file size limit is one gigabyte, right? Um, if your game is bigger than one gigabyte, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add this file right here, an external file. So instead of added, uploading your file, you just have to add external. And this is only if it's bigger than one gigabyte. Adding an external is just going to basically ask you uh, which platform you're putting it out for. So me, Windows. Um, and then you can, oops, you can fill out your um, link here. So you can also upload your file as well. Uh, let's see the difference between the two I guess I'll tell you because I've done both the difference between the two is if you do the <clears throat> Executable if you do the external file what's going to happen is when you put out an update people are going to have to re-download that file I think that when you do the update on the actual itch store For this um, When they don't have to download if it's under one then it kind of just pushes that update to them I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that's what I saw Regardless, we're almost finished. Put the details about your game. This is very important. Describe your game. Make it a fun description. Write it out first before you try to freestyle it. Uh, also, this is important too. Give your game a genre. If you don't know about genres of games, you might want to go study it so you can figure out which genre your game actually fits in. Mine would be more so an action adventure. I mean, uh, tips. Oh, tags, I'm sorry. Tags, these are ways that people can find your game on itch when they're searching for your game. So if it's like a platform or it's 3D or it's got like, I don't know, artificial intelligence or something like that. You put all that kind of stuff here as the tags so when people are looking they can find your game. Any links that you have for this game anywhere else, you can also plug them here. A custom noun basically is asking you instead of calling your stuff a game, what do you want to call it? Do you want to call it a project? You want to call it a uh, masterpiece you type it in here and everywhere it says game um, it's going to replace that with whatever you type there and then lastly the download and install instructions this is going to teach somebody how to download your game and install it so if there's specific instructions like hey uh, put this on this folder and blah 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 you know put all that here also what I do in here is I put the controls like the key binding so if somebody's playing with a keyboard or if they're playing with the map uh the gamepad i'll put the controls and what they do in this download and install um community you can disable comments i always allow comments because comments are good and then visibility make sure if you're wanting this to go out you make sure it's on public once you have all of this filled out that's all you need you can save and view page and your game is going to be out there to the masses for free so you'll be able to have your own itch page 
just like mine with all of your games up here as you continue to make games. So that is all I wanted to show you today, guys. And I, I, I really, really appreciate you guys for following me through this series. Um, I think this is going to be the last episode of this series. Uh, the next series, I was thinking about doing like a devlog series on this game that I'm working on. It's really, really cool. I don't think I've ever shown a clip of it at all. But uh, at the top of the year, what I was going to do is start another tutorial series. And we're going to do some like like horror survival, no powers, more realistic stuff. And I got this suggestion from a comment. So thanks for the person who commented that. But other than that, I will holler at y'all next time. Appreciate y'all for joining me. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Hey.